New Google AI generates 3D models from text. DreamFusion is an evolution of DreamField's generative 3D AI system, which Google revealed in the latter part of 2021. Google combined the image analysis model called CLIP from OpenAI with Neural Radiance Fields, also known as NERF, to create DreamFields, allowing the neural network to store the 3D models. DreamFields uses NERF's ability to generate 3D views and combines it with CLIP's ability to assess content from images. Upon receiving the input text, an untrained NERF neural network model generates random views from one viewpoint, which are then evaluated by CLIP. The feedback serves as a correction signal to the NERF neural network model, and the process is repeated until there is a 3D model that matches the description. DreamFusion further refines this process with its artificial intelligence model. DreamFusion uses Google's pre-trained 2D image diffusion AI model called Imagine to perform text 3D synthesis. For DreamFusion, Google is planning on replacing Clip from OpenAI, which can also be used for 3D generation, with a new loss based on its own image and AI model, which Google AI stated could enable many new applications of pre-trained diffusion models. 3D generation doesn't require 3D data for training because it wouldn't be available at the required scale. DreamFusion instead learns to represent 3D objects using 2D images from Imogen generated from different perspectives. This is done using gaze-dependent prompts like front view and rear view, for which the entire process is automated by the artificial intelligence. DreamFusion produces relightable 3D objects that are more detailed, with more quality and depth than DreamFields, and it also allows users to combine multiple 3D models into one scene, as well as generate normals based from a text input. The Google AI research team wrote that their approach doesn't require any 3D training data or modifications to the image diffusion modeling, which demonstrates the effectiveness of pre-trained image diffusion models as priors. Users can export the NERF models that they generate into meshes with the Marching Cubes algorithm. This allows them to be easily integrated into popular 3D rendering software or modeling software. It is expected that Google's DreamFusion artificial intelligence model could prove to be an extremely useful tool for users in the metaverse. This tool would serve non-technical users who want to create structures or objects to populate their simulated worlds by allowing them to simply type a description of what they envision in the chat box to create it in a flash. Artificial intelligence turns a 100,000 equation quantum physics problem into just four equations without losing accuracy. This work was published in the September issue of Physical Review Letters, and it stands to revolutionize the way scientists study quantum systems with many interacting electrons. The approach can also be adapted to other problems, such as helping in the design of materials that have desirable properties like superconductivity or utility for clean power generation. The researchers from Flatiron Institute's Center for Computational Quantum Physics started from a large object of all the coupled together differential quantum physics equations, and they used their machine learning model to turn it into just a fraction of a fraction of its original size. The problem solved concerns how electrons behave as they're moving on a grid-like lattice, and interactions occur when two electrons are located in the same lattice area. The configuration, also known as the Hubbard model, allows scientists to model several important materials, while also allowing scientists to study how electron behavior leads to desirable phases of matter such as superconductivity in which electrons flow freely through a material. The model can also be used to test new methods before they are applied to more complex quantum systems. Because when electrons interact with one another, they become mechanically entangled, the Hubbard model requires cutting-edge computational methods and serious computing power even when working with a small number of electrons. Therefore, increasing numbers of electrons makes the computational challenge exponentially more difficult. One way of studying a quantum system is by using what is referred to as a renormalization group. This is a mathematical apparatus that physicists use in order to study how the behavior of a system, such as the Hubbard model, changes when scientists alter properties like temperature or when they examine the properties at different scales. A renormalization group, which keeps track of all possible electron couplings without sacrificing any, can have tens or hundreds of thousands, or even millions of equations that must be solved. These equations are so incredibly complicated because each one represents an interaction between two electrons. The researchers wondered if they could use a machine learning tool called a neural network to help manage the renormalization group. 
The neural network is like a cross between a frantic switchboard operator and survival of the fittest evolution. The machine learning program first creates connections within the full-sized renormalization group. Then the neural network tweaks those connections until it finds the smallest set of equations that yields the same solution to the original jumbo-sized renormalization group. Even with only four equations, the program captured the quantum physics of the Hubbard model. All in all, this machine learning method was able to discover hidden patterns, and it was able to amaze researchers with its results, which proved to be more than they originally expected. The machine learning program took a lot of computational power to train, and it ran for several weeks, but now their program can be adapted to solve other problems. The researchers are currently investigating what the machine learning model actually learns about the system, as this could lead to additional insights that would otherwise be difficult for physicists to uncover themselves. The biggest question remaining is whether the new approach will work on complex quantum systems, such as materials in which electrons interact over long distances. The researchers say there are exciting opportunities to use this machine learning technique in other areas related to renormalization groups, including neuroscience and cosmology. Soft robotics learn to grip using the right amount of force. MIT researchers from the Computer Science and Artificial Intelligence Laboratory, as well as the Toyota Research Institute, created a robotic system for users to grasp the tools and use the right amount of force to accomplish a task such as squeegeeing liquids or writing words with a pen. The robotic system, called Series Elastic End Effectors, or SEED, uses soft bubble grippers and embedded cameras, which allows the grippers to deform in six dimensions and to apply force to a tool. The object can be moved in six directions, including right, left, down, up, backward, roll, yaw, and pitch. SEED uses a 3D image of the grippers to detect every execution. This allows the robot to track in real time how the grippers change shape around objects. These images are used by the robot to reconstruct the location of the tool. The robot then uses a learned model that maps the position of a tool to the measured force. This model is based on the robot's past experience. The robot disturbs a force sensor to determine the stiffness of the bubble grippers to ascertain whether it needs to grip harder and in which direction over a 6D space. The system currently assumes a specific geometry for tools, which must be cylindrical. But there are still a considerable number of limitations on how it can generalize when encountering new types of shapes. For this, the researcher's upcoming work might involve generalizing the framework to different shapes so it can handle arbitrary tools in the real world which it hasn't seen before or been trained for. Make sure to like, subscribe, and enable the notification bell for the latest news in artificial intelligence, robotics, and brain-computer interface news. And thanks for watching.